Hi everybody, Jo here. Welcome again. Now yesterday, those of you that joined me, um, I said I'd pop back today and show a little trick to you. So for those of you that were here yesterday, and if you weren't, you might want to, might want to pop along to yesterday's um, little video. This was the design we were going to create or something similar. And this is the actual one that I made on the video. So what I did yesterday after I'd left you, I made another one, which is just slightly longer because I had an idea of what I was going to do with it. So if I bring this one a little bit closer, I can show you. I'm just going to use my pokey tool. So this one, I've got the same lot of flowers along the bottom. I've used the same stamps. What I've done is I've just added a little bit of stamping at the top. I just wanted some foliage at the top of my design. I've done the same stencil in the background and I've used, if I bring this in, the, we used the mica minerals, the, the copper yesterday, didn't we? And we stamped the sentiment and I've done the same here. Can you see? So I've stamped the sentiment. But what I did do was, now again, <laughs> you know I'm a bit rubbish at this, I'm trying to show you. Hopefully we can just get that glint. What I did was this gorgeous stamp here. I stamped that in my, my Versafine, so that's my, my sticky ink, so the gorgeous grass. And then I put some of the, the mica minerals on it, so I don't know if you can see, but it just gives the most gorgeous effect. Now, you may be asking yourself, what, what, what's she doing with this? She's just showing us another, here's what I did earlier. Well, I'm hoping we're going to turn it into some storage. Now, what I have is a tin here. Now, I have to thank my lovely friend, Tracy Evans. Um, we, we have coffee together when we can with Anna, our other lovely friend. And um, Tracy's rather got me into the bad habit of uh, using tins and storage items. And we're into sardine tins at the minute. I don't eat them. Eric, my Labrador, does. He loves them. Um, yes, he thinks he's a cat. Um so this is just, it was actually custard. I have to say, Carl, my husband, had apple pie and custard. None of it made by me, I have to add. Um, so washed it out. Do check it's not sharp at the top. That's the other thing. And just some black gesso inside, a bit top and bottom. So hence, I needed a longer, because all I've done is measured the circumference. So it's obvious to you now what I'm going to do. Now, I find when I'm doing this, red liner tape is very good for this because it's so strong. So what I'm going to do... Now, I didn't want to prepare this too much because if I thought if it's all done, you... Oh, behave scissors. You won't actually see what's um, the process. So obviously, you can stamp, put any design on your card. Um, but I just thought this, when I was doing it yesterday, I just gessoed my tin actually and I thought, oh yes, that scene would just be lovely. So I'm putting it on both ends. Get rid of that. Now, obviously the end on this is normally tricky but if you just use the edge of your scissors you can normally so for those of you who haven't met red liner tape obviously it's called red liner tape because it has a red liner but it's very strong and um, also if you do anything with parchment um, or vellum it's very good because it doesn't show through as much as other tapes do it's a really good one to have in but I must say to you the red strips are very staticky and it's quite funny because often when you go and try and put these in the bin, they cling to everything. Now, I'm actually going to, um, I was brought up with belt and braces. Now, I don't know if that's a northern expression, so it might not mean anything to some of you. And basically what it means is this red liner tape should hold this on my can. But just for added protection, so obviously like your trousers, you may have a belt on to stop them falling down and you may have braces. So the expression belt and braces is for those that are covering all possibilities and actually putting both on so we're just going to put some pin flare here my theory with this as well 
his pin flare sort of takes overnight to dry but it's a very very good strong bond so my red liner tape will hold while my pin flare dries and then I've got my belt and my braces I've got two ways of keeping the card on the tin right I'll wipe that in a minute now this is the tricky bit a check it's the right way up won't you I nearly said no Australian but I know we have a few um, people who who are following subscribing from Australia so I didn't mean to offend there just when we do cards mind you you probably make cards if you make them upside down do you say no uh, no UK designs if we make one upside down I hate to tell you but we say oh it's Australian just because you're at the other side of the world that's all now my tapes come over a bit so I'm just tucking it in there and I've got sticky fingers so right way up I'm just going to go over where and I'm just going to put the first bit on and then slowly just work your way around keep it straight And then hopefully, oh, that's gone slightly. I'm just going to take that off a bit. I seem to have got it at a bit of an angle. Let's just try again. thing to do live is it right come on ah, that's better that's lined up better right hold that down because I've got glue on this hand and I'm trying not to right let me just grab it a cloth and wipe my fingers right now a good way to check it is just roll it <laughs> let it glide across there we go So I'm happy with that, look at that. So if you look round, and I think that is just such a lovely pot. So what I'm going to do is that, so I hope you can see it there. So that's the front. So obviously as it happens, the back there where the join is, what you can do, I mean, I'm quite happy with that to be honest, but you could always put some um, little ribbon piece of ribbon down it but for me that's going to be this is going to stand on my craft desk so that's going to face the wall anyway um, and I'm, I love that and what I'm going to do see this is the bit that's going to be facing me which I just think is so pretty and mine is actually going to house my Posca pens and a couple of brushes so because I needed a new container for these Poscas so I think that is just going to be happy and that's going to be stood on my craft desk. So I shall leave you with that. Like I say, I do think it was going to be a very quick catch up today. So if you made your coffee, you've probably not drunk all your coffee yet. I just wanted to show you, it was just yesterday when we were doing this background that I just thought, or oh, rather than put it on a card, why don't we just cover that tin that we've got and make ourselves a nice little stand doesn't show up very well because obviously the camera's above, but that's what I'm going to be looking at. And that's what I'm happy with. So take care, everybody. Thanks for popping in. And um, it's lovely to chat with you. And um, I'll see you in a couple of days. Love and hugs. Bye for now.